My name is Nyaradzo Chigori Mbutsikiwa, but everyone calls me Nyari. I work in the division of medical virology, which means I work with viruses, and the virus I work with is HIV. And as an immunologist, what I've been looking at has been how the virus actually interacts with the human body. So really, my interests are in trying to look at ways to stop viruses from infecting people. So yes, um, natural immunity is great. It does help a lot in individuals who've been infected before to have less chances of being infected with a second infection. However, what vaccines do actually is that they provide a better um, immune response so that when you do get infected after vaccination, you actually have a much lower viral load. Viral load refers to the amount of virus that comes into you when you get infected. So if you have less virus, because say for example, the person who's transmitting to you has been vaccinated, you won't get as sick. And when you do get sick, when you get infected, the amount of virus that you shed is that much lower. So the viral load has to do with that fact that you have lower virus, so lower transmission and lower disease severity. The caveat here is that what we often see is that people who have naturally been infected with COVID, there's a correlation to their immunity to the severity of the disease. So people who had severe COVID have the best immune response for subsequent infections. But of course, we don't want that, right? And we've also seen related to that is people who have mild COVID infections don't have a robust immune response to COVID on the subsequent infection. But what vaccines do actually is that they provide almost the same immunity to SARS-CoV-2 subsequent infection as people who've had severe COVID without having to have severe COVID. Not only do vaccines prevent severe COVID, but also they actually avoid individuals from getting long COVID. So we actually don't really understand fully how long COVID works, but a lot of healthy, very um, healthy individuals who exercise, eat well, have been getting long COVID when getting infected with SARS-CoV-2. And so what vaccines are doing actually is lowering those chances of getting long COVID. People who've been vaccinated don't get long COVID. And so that's really, really a real huge benefit, I think.